How do you do, my friends everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and children, and men and women, and people? I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. And before we go further into these wonderful adventures with nature, a word regarding our modus operandi. Modus operandi. On occasion, in some of these programs already done, and on those I will do further, it is clear that I have used some language now and again of an elevated sort, words like, phrases like, modus operandi and such, and the impression may be got that this is too much for young ones to hear and understand. But I am of the philosophy, having been for 60 years in the academic scene, that my singular purpose is to make everyone reach, and thus their brains are stretched and their emotions moved and their spirit touched. So, these things that I have done and we are now doing should have virtue for the youngest and the oldest. As I am given to say, the stuff we do here and we talk about is good for ages 3 to 93, or 2 to 92, or 4 to 94. Indeed, one-year-olds could enjoy what we are doing. So let's do some more of it. Here I have on strings some little wads of paper, and I am going to grasp them with my fingers. And I say they are now electrostatically neutral. Now here I have a rubber rod. And I say it is electrostatically neutral. About this, you can explore things with your teacher. Now, I am going to bring this electrostatically neutral rod near those electrostatically neutral uh, wads of paper, pith balls, and watch. Not much. Indeed, nothing happens. And nothing happening is very important. It's like in Sherlock Holmes, the dog which did not bark in the night. Now I'm going to rub this rubber rod on this piece of fur. And a most remarkable transformation has taken place. This rubber rod has a new life. Watch, watch. There we are. And they, oh, notice that. They touch the rod. They now have the same charge as the rod. And they are not only moving away from the rod, but from each other. And if I try to engage them, you see, I don't succeed too well. Look at that. Isn't that ter Look at that. Look at that. And so we introduce here some phenomena in electrostatics.